Hi, 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 and welcome to book three of my 50 books series. So to recap, I'm reading 50 books in a year and I am going to post short like three minute reviews about all of them. So this book is called A History of Britain in 21 Women by Jenny Murray and it was published like last year, I think. 2016, yeah, and it's her personal selection. It's an interesting selection and she talks about why she has chosen the people that she's chosen. In the description, I'll actually put the list of, of women that she chooses. I didn't know who Jenny Murray was until I had already bought this and my husband was like, oh, you know, that's the woman from Women's Hour, so yeah. I chose it because it was on the like two for ten pounds table at Waterstones and there was another book on there that my husband wanted to buy so I bought it. I thought it might be entertaining, I thought I might learn something and I did and yeah that's why I chose it. So I really liked the selection. So the first really good thing about this was the selection. It's not always uh, obvious women and so I learned quite a bit but it's written quite poorly <laughs> and for a book that claims to be a feminist or feminizing or women's focused history there are some really problematic things in here like she at one point is talking about so-and-so the scientist and she's wearing X or whatever the case is. I don't want to sort of go through specific examples because I think there are just too many of them. So that I found really problematic. My general thoughts are that I learned things from this book but the things I learned were not in this book. What I mean is in coming across small tidbits of information about these women I went away and looked up other stuff. In fact I think I learned more from reading the Wikipedia pages of certain people and events that I wasn't familiar with that I came across in this book than I did from the book. So would I recommend it? No. I would not recommend it to most people. Perhaps I would recommend it to young women who want to read a history of women, want to think about women being central to history. But having said that, I think there are probably books that do that a lot better and there are probably a lot of public figures who could write a book like this 10 times better. So if you think you are one of them, watching public figures. Write a book like this, your personal selection of British women and what they have uh, done for our society. Anyway, my three minutes is well and truly up, so link to the book in the description and if you want to chat about the book, uh, my Goodreads and Twitter are all down below or obviously in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!